Today I'm going to show you how to make this kangaroo and the colors you're going to need if you're going to make it all gray like I am. About 220 gray rubber bands and two blue, two white, and two pinks. But if you want to do brown you can and you can add a little bit of tone inside the belly here by doing a brown or a lighter tan in the in the center. I just don't have it. I just have um, gray, so I'm going to show you how to do it in gray. Again, you can choose whatever color you would like. Um, let's get started. First, let's make the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm going to use blue. So I'm going to take a single rubber band. I'm going to loop it four times on my hook. Take a single white, double it, then pulling those eyes right onto my white, my white rubber band. And now I'm going to take another blue, loop it four times on my hook, take my single white, double it, and then getting the eye right onto that rubber band. And since my body is gray, and whichever color your body is, go ahead, take that single gray, and then getting your eye right onto that single rubber band. And let's go ahead and put it on our holding hook for later. And now we can make an ear, the ear. And here I already made one for you. So you will need to pause the video to make the other one. And I'll make one with you right now. So with a single rubber band, you at the top of your loom, you're going to make a triangle the top of the loom and then scooch it down a little bit take a single gray put it on the left side and then a single gray on the right hand side and now we're going to take another single gray we're going to stretch it out double it and make an upside down triangle at the top of the ear take a single pink or whatever color the inside of your ear you want to be um, and then go ahead and loop the top of the rubber band there creating a diamond shape so that's what your ear should look like and it should be like the pig's ear and the, some of my other animals and now you are going to loop these this end peg there four times two three four and that's what you should have so a single rubber band there, single down here on the left and right, single pink down the center, and then a single double creating the diamond right there and then looping it off four times. And now let's go ahead and go under the cap band. And we should have two single or two rubber bands under that cap band. Grab one of them very gently, very carefully and pulling it to either side, the left or the right, and then reach back in, grab the other rubber band. There shouldn't be any more under there, and pull it to the other side. And that's what you should have for the ear, and then go ahead and finish looping it up to the top of your peg there. I'm just releasing any tension. I don't want my rubber bands to stretch out too much. And now let's go ahead and loop this pink inside of the ear. And let's go ahead and finish up your ears. There you go. Take the back parts off. and then putting it on your holding hook for later. And you can go ahead and make the other ear. Pause the video and make the other ear and come back when you're ready. So once your ear is done, let's go ahead and make the front arms here. To make the arm, we're going to take two single rubber bands anywhere on the loom. So loop it from that peg to that peg. And this peg to this peg, two single rubber bands. And now we're going to take a single, doubling it, 
and we're going to do this three times. One, single, double, two, single, double, three. And you will need to make another one. I already made one so we can, so the video isn't as long. So after we loop our third single that we doubled, we're going to go ahead and loop the end of the arm there for the fingers three times on the end peg there. And then let's go ahead and loop up, go under the cap band, hold down the cap band and looping it onto itself, creating teardrops. And that will be one of the arm and you will need to pause the video to do the second arm. So that's what it should look like. So now, after you've done your second arm, so now let's do the hind legs. We're going to take three single rubber bands, starting from the eighth peg from the bottom, two, four, six, eight. And do that three times, three single rubber bands. Two, three, and now we are going to take two single. We are going to double it and put it on a thigh there, connecting it. Again, another two single rubber bands, doubling it and connecting it to a thigh. We're going to take three single rubber bands and making the, uh, the thigh thicker by putting it to the side there. So that's what your thigh should look like. Three, 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 two doubled, two single rubber bands doubled for those two. And now let's take two single rubber bands, put it from the third peg to the second peg, and then another two single rubber bands from the second to the first. And then we are going to loop Take a single rubber band and loop the end here for his toes three times. And that's what you should have for the thigh, the back leg. So let's go ahead and loop up from the toes. Go under the cap band, the, toe, the um, toes, and go up the foot there. And remember, we will need to loop and connect the thigh right here. So let's loop up here. And then bef the second rubber band before the first set there, we're going to loop it to the side to catch our thigh. And then looping that up. And same with this side, looping it up. That should be your thigh, and you will need to do another one on your own. Please pause the video when you're done to make another thigh. Put it on your holding hook for later. Now let's make the pouch. For the pouch, we're going to only use single rubber bands. So with your single, you're going to put it from near the top of the loom, so diagonally from the right top peg there to the center, and then go ahead and go across. So from here to there, there to there, single. And now we're coming down to one, two. That's on the left side of the loom, so from the right diagonally and two across single rubber bands. And now we're going to take another single and we are coming down the center three times. One, two, three. And now let's come down 
from the left to the center to close it off and then coming down on the right hand side there one two three four so that should be your pouch and now let's go ahead and close it off there your pouch should look like that in the order that I put the rubber bands and now let's go ahead and put our capping band and that's on the right hand side of the loom on the fifth peg so and just loop it twice or just once to create two loops there and now let's go ahead these will be attaching or connecting rubber bands so we're going to put one here on the fourth peg on the left just loop it once we're going to do it on the first where the bottom of the pouch is loop it once like that so you have a cap band on the fifth on the right on the fourth and on the second of the pouch and now let's go ahead and put some holding rubber bands we're going to put one here triangle one in the center and one there so holding triangle all single here here and here and now let's go ahead and loop starting with the right corner on the fifth peg go under that cap band we're going to grab the top single and we're going to loop onto itself which goes down to the center peg and under the cent center peg we're going to go in there the top rubber band whichever just grab the top single under the cap band and it should go to the the left here wherever it goes if yours goes up the center take it up the center just make sure you have the nice teardrop so I'm going to reach back in there grab the next one the center one and looping it up onto itself and let's finish the center rubber bands first so there you should have teardrops up the center of your pouch now and let's go ahead and loop go all the way under grab the very bottom on the right on the left side there all the way grab the very bottom rubber band and looping it onto itself and you always want to grab the very bottom rubber bands looping it onto itself again I'm going on the very top left there the second peg on the left grab the bottom rubber band bottom single and looping it onto itself the center second peg go all the way to the bottom grab the bottom single and looping it onto itself and now let's finish the right side the top of the pouch and looping it onto itself creating teardrop teardrops okay now that's what you should have and later when we're hooking the pouch we're going to need to find these holding rubber bands or these attaching rubber bands but we should be able to see it so let's go ahead and take our holding hook and get our pouch onto that hook for later so this one will be the attaching rubber band and here will be the attaching rubber band you see the one you added that we um, put as holding rubber bands you can kind of already tell which ones they are if it's the same color it's a little confusing but you should be able to tell which on ones are the holding rubber bands or the attaching rubber bands and there's your pouch and we'll put it aside don't let this come off it'll come off it'll fall apart so there's your holding or your connecting rubber bands this one and that one and now let's go ahead put it aside now let's make the tail with a single rubber band from the top of our loom we are going to go down one on each of the three pegs there so single rubber bands from the one peg down on the left in the center 
in the right. And now in the center peg, we're going to take three single rubber bands and looping it from the second to the third. And let's come down another three single rubber bands in the center from the third to the fourth. Let's work down the center, two single rubber bands now from the fourth to the fifth, another two single rubber band from the fifth to the sixth, and then let's take single rubber bands down three times. One single rubber bands, two, three single rubber bands. So that's what you should have, single there, three single here and here, two singles here and here, and then a single rubber band three times down. And now on the sides, we are going to make it a little thicker. So from the sides, we're going to put two single rubber bands on the left side and on the right side. Left and right, two single rubber bands from the second to the third, the second to the third. And now for the rest of the way, we are going to t do single rubber bands. So that's one, two, three, four rubber bands. And then on the fifth one, we are going to take it all the way across there. So that's on the right hand side there, we have single rubber bands starting, two singles there, and then we're going to do one, two, three, four singles. On the fifth one, we're going to take it from the right all the way to the center, the last peg there. And we're going to repeat it on the other side, same thing. Single four times, two, three, four. On the fifth one, pull it up to the center. And now let's cap that tail off with a single rubber band three times, two, three. And now let's put some holding rubber bands. Let's go ahead, take a single, double it. And we are going to start at the top here, near the base of the tail. So a single, double, right there. Single, double. Just keep going down, single, double. Make the tail a little, a little tight. Single, double. Single, double. Single, double. There. All the way down. And if you can make, this one I put upside down, triangle, it's up to you. You can make it either that or you can make it here. It doesn't matter. And if you want it a little tighter, you can make it three single, uh, take a single and triple it on these two pegs. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And if you want it more tapered, you can do it, loop it three times that single. So now let's go ahead and start looping, taking a hook going under the cap band, the last peg there, grabbing the top single, and then looping it onto itself. And mine's going to the left, go back under that peg, grab the next single, and then it's going to the right. Just take it where it's going to go, as long as you see teardrops. Again, go back in there, grab the last single, and it should go to the center peg. Don't over pull, don't break your rubber band. So now let's go ahead and you can do any row you want. I'm doing the center. I'm just going right up the center, creating teardrops. Now I'm going on the right hand side, 
either way just go all the way up on both sides to the top peg there Now that you've done that, let's go ahead and take it off your loom and put it on your holding hook for later. Take it off very carefully off the loom. Make sure there's rubber bands, the top ones does not come off your hook because your tail will fall apart. Okay, there's your tail. You can spread it out or not. It can be a little curled. Now put it aside. Now let's make the body from the top of our loom. Two single rubber bands. Diagonally. And like my other animals, we're going to make the face pretty small, down one, two single rubber bands on both sides, and then down to the chin, or across diagonally to the chin peg, and make sure you push it down so we make room for our, our other rubber bands. Push it down, don't let it overlap. And let's go ahead and work on the center of the face, pushing our rubber bands down into the chin peg there. And push it down, don't let it overlap. Let's go ahead and do the side of the neck. Take a single rubber band, uh, diagonally once and then down two times. The other side of the neck, diagonally once and down two, si two times. Now the center of the neck, we're going to make it a little sturdier. We're going to take three single rubber bands from the neck, the chin peg, down one, same thing, three single rubber band, and that completes your neck. Let's go ahead and do the body, two single rubber bands, Diagonally to close off the neck there. Push it down again, diagonally, starting the body. And then we are coming down five times and two single rubber bands at a time. Come down the side, either side you want five times. One, two, three. four, five, and then let's go ahead and close up to the center where his bottom is. Let's repeat on the other side. One, two, two single rubber bands at a time, five times, three, four, Five, and then coming in to his bottom there, pushing it down. And now the center of the body, let's go ahead and do two single rubber bands from the bottom of the neck down. And to give make the body a little thicker, we're going to use three single rubber bands and coming down the center of the body to the bo his um, bottom there. So three single rubber bands all the way down the rest of his belly. And you don't have to do three, you can just use two rubber bands if you want. And if you want the white in the belly, go ahead and do that or the tan or whatever color you wanna use. 
So I'm here, I'm closing up his belly now to the bottom. Now let's add the tail at the bottom here on these three pegs. And for the tail, there should be three sets of two rubber bands. And it should be pretty separated like that. So let's go ahead and get one side on the, the left peg there of his bottom. And then get this sec center on the center peg. The, it should be two rubber bands each. Get it on the peg. And then the third set, third set should go on the right hand side. Like that. So that should be his tail. And it should hook onto this one, this one, and this one at the very bottom of his, the rubber bands there, the, the, his bottom. So let's go ahead and now loop off that end peg there three times. One, two, three. Go ahead and put some holding rubber bands. We are going to take two single rubber bands and we're going to put it from the chest area here, two single rubber bands, creating triangles. All the way down, we're going to do this four times. Holding rubber bands, two of them, and down there. So there's two single rubber bands holding four times. So once you have the holding rubber bands on, let's go ahead and go under the cap band at the bottom, pull the tail back, and grabbing the top three rubber bands, it should be the ones going up to the center of the body, and we are going to loop it up and onto itself, creating the teardrop, and we're making room for our pouch. And so let's go ahead and loop, keep looping up the center of the body four times to clear away for adding the pouch on. So I'm looping it up one, two, three, four times. Go ahead and push it down a little bit. And now let's go ahead and add a pouch. Get your hook where your pouch is on. And we are going to add it on the first peg and the third peg from where the body ends on both sides. So let's go ahead and line your pouch up. So mine is going to go on the left side there. So where your hook is, there should be four rubber bands on the hook. And go ahead and put it from the third um, peg from the bottom. And make sure you get all the rubber bands onto that peg off of your hook. And now we're going to take where the, the cap band was on the other side of your pouch, attaching it to the other side of your body. So at the bottom, there should be the connecting rubber band, and it should be two rubber bands, or two looped rubber bands that we did when we did the pouch, and find them and connect it to the first, the bottom pegs there for either side. So your pouch should now be on your, your body. And now let's go ahead and add the hind legs. Get your hind legs from your, where your hook was, Get, find it and go ahead and put it from the um, bottom peg and the second peg like we, we did for a horse. Go ahead and make sure you get all your rubber bands on to that peg. So that's the first peg and the second peg. That's one hind leg and go ahead and twist it out. Let's do the other side of our hind legs. Same thing, there should be separation between the two. Get one side on there and then get the other side on there. Should be the first and the second peg from the bottom where the body ends. So the hind legs are on, the pouch is on. Let's go ahead and attach his other parts. Let's go ahead and do the eyes. 
the eye should attach on the second peg from the top of the head across and go ahead and split it out and then loop it up onto the center over the center second peg like that that's the eyes and now let's put on the ears show a little of the pink and put it on the ear peg make sure you get all the rubber bands on there in the other ear and now let's put on some holding rubber bands for the face and the neck area taking a single rubber band looping it around the face area there take a single rubber band double it and put it a triangle around the neck area there and now we are going to make the neck a little tighter let's go ahead and scooch your rubber bands down a little and loop it if you can three times on that peg across so that's the third peg from the top looping it three times a single now let's start looping let's start at the tail go under the cap band grab the top two rubber bands under the cap bands and looping it onto itself like that wherever it goes if it's the left go to the left if it's the right go to the right and then go back under the cap band grabbing the last two rubber bands under there if you can't see it kind of use your hand to help look and then looping it onto itself and release any tension if there's any tension let's go ahead and go to the side of the leg now put your hook all the way in the center go to ver the very bottom and grabbing the bottom two rubber bands and looping it onto itself and just go up the side of the body up to the, um, the shoulder go under the very bottom grab the bottom two and looping it onto itself if you can't see it turn it to the side like I am and put your hook all the way through the center grabbing only the bottom two for all of these side the side of the body and looping it onto itself and again stop at the shoulder so we can add the arms later there there's the top of the shoulder or near the shoulder and let's go do the other side again at the very bottom where the near the tail is grabbing the very bottom two rubber bands and looping it onto itself make sure you have teardrops um, catching your rubber bands if you don't then your kangaroo will fall apart let's go ahead reach it to the very very bottom grabbing the bottom two seeing nice teardrops and looping it onto itself keep going up the side of the body there up to the shoulder and now that we are at the shoulder we're going to get our arms put it through the loops grabbing the shoulder rubber, man, rubber bands remember there are three here just grab the top two one belongs to the neck go ahead slide your arm right onto that shoulder rubber band and looping it right onto the bottom of the neck the center peg there same thing on the other side get your other arm out put it through the loops grabbing only the top two for the shoulder rubber bands slide your arms through and looping it right onto the neck there and now let's go ahead and finish the center of the body go ahead and loop up the rest of the way and finishing it up to the 
beginning, beginning, center, and neck peg there. So your body should be done. You should have teardrops all around. Make sure you check before you go on. Now let's go up the side of the neck. If you want to do the center, that's fine. Just go up the side of the neck and release any tension, if there is any or are any, to ensure that you don't break any rubber bands. And the neck rubber bands here are just single rubber bands on the side, just looping it onto itself, creating teardrops. Again, don't force it. If there's any tension, release it. And then looping it onto the chin peg there. And let's, now I'm doing the center of the neck. Reach all the way under, grabbing those three single rubber bands, creating the nice teardrop, and looping it onto itself. And this chin peg is very full, so be careful. Now everything should be all set. Now let's go ahead and reach under that chin peg there. You should be able to see grabbing the top two rubber bands and looping it. It should go right in the center of the face, looping it onto itself, grabbing the next two. It shouldn't be crisscrossed. The rubber band should be there and grabbing it onto itself. I mean hooking it onto itself, creating the teardrop. And now the last two, the very bottom, and looping it onto itself. And now we are going to add the nose area and the mouth. Let's go ahead and take the, the neck rubber band, the side off, and go ahead and make room. Push all your pegs down to make room for the mouth and nose area. So you're exposing your peg like that. So now let's go ahead and take two single rubber bands from the center peg down to the third peg. Another two single rubber bands from the third to the fourth peg. And now we're going to take a single rubber band doubling it. Put it from the either side, the right side or the left, single, double from the second to the third on either side of your face. And now take another single, double, and connecting the mouth area together. Another single, double, to the other side. So you should have your face area now, or the mouth area. So from the center, two rubber bands, down twice, single, double, from the third, second to the third, on both sides and then from the third to the center for both sides. And now we are going to cap this off. The mouth off it should be the fourth peg from the top and we're going to loop that three times. And now let's put some holding rubber bands. We're going to take a single, double, and we are putting it across from the second peg from the top to the second peg from the top. And then another single, double, and we're going to put it from the third peg to the third peg. So that's what you should have. So holding rubber ends from here to there, single, double, single, double from there to there. And now let's go ahead and loop. Go under the cap band on the fourth peg from the top there, grabbing the top two rubber bands and then looping it onto itself and mine's going on the left there. Going back under the cap band, grabbing the next two. It should go to the right and then go under the cap band again. It should be the center And then you can finish up the center of the face if you want, up in between the eyes. And now let's go ahead and reach on the sides and looping it up once onto itself. Either side, grabbing the bottom 
two rubber bands and looping it onto itself. Now we're almost done. Let's go ahead and go under the second peg from the sides all the way under, all the way through, grabbing the bottom two rubber bands and very carefully, don't break your rubber band and looping it right onto that ear peg there. Same thing on the other side, go all the way through, grabbing the, only the bottom two rubber bands and looping it onto the ear peg. And go in the ear peg, grabbing the bottom two. Looping it onto the forehead. Same thing on the other side. Go in the ear peg, grabbing the bottom. Only the bottom two rubber bands. And looping it onto the forehead. Now let's finish up the center of the face. There, now your whole kangaroo should be all set. Let's go ahead and take a single rubber band. If you want to do two, just in case, you can. And pull to create your slip knot. Now let's go ahead and take your kangaroo off the loom carefully with your hook. And here's your kangaroo. Just adjust the eyes. from the back or wherever it is on the side. Adjust the mouth there. Out and pinch it in a little bit. And fix your tail. And pull your legs and create the foot there. Pull the arms and the pouch should be good. And tuck in your charm string if you want. That's your kangaroo. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.